Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and show you around Miami. I did a poll and some of you guys were interested in seeing more of Miami. This is a neighborhood called Brickell. Now if you look behind me, you'll notice there are a lot of high rises. This is what Brickell is known for. It's a very urban neighborhood and it's one of the most popular neighborhoods here in Miami and it's one of the most rapidly growing ones. A lot of people have been moving here, especially during the pandemic um, because they're just very interested in the area. To give you guys a little bit of history of Brickell, uh, this was originally populated by the Tequesta people, then the Spanish came, then the Americans came, and then in the late 1800s, Mary and William Brickell moved from Cleveland, Ohio, started a trading post here, and started developing the land. And behind me, what you see back here used to actually be all mansions along the water, and it was called Millionaire's Row. Now, over time, all of those mansions got demolished. There's only a handful of them left, and they were replaced by all the high rises that you see back here behind me. A lot of these are residential, but a lot of them also are offices, and this is known as the capital of Latin America. There are a ton of international banks here. If you work in Brickell, it's very likely that you work in one of these buildings around here on the water's edge. But I just wanted to show you really quick. I'm going to take you guys on my favorite walk. Now, right now, I'm on a residential island called Brickell Key. And if you'll notice, there's this pathway. It goes along the perimeter of the island. It's an island just off of Main Brickell. And it's a really nice area to walk if you're a resident. If you don't live around the area, I wouldn't recommend coming here because there's not parking. But if you are visiting or if you live in the area, it's a really nice spot to check out. You often can see a lot of wildlife like dolphins, sharks, manatees, tons of fish. So definitely a place to check out. This is the Mandarin Oriental. It's the only hotel on Brickell Key. There is a small pool. And then over here, they do have behind there a private man-made beach. Now, something important to know about Brickell is that there is no beach here. If you're coming to visit, you really want to probably stay on Miami Beach. I think that's what people think about when they think of Miami. And those are the really nice beaches with the chairs and the wide stretch of sand. You don't have that here in Brickell, and that's about a 15 to 20 minute drive. So it's close by, but if that's what you're looking for, then Brickell's probably not the area that you want to book a hotel in. We do have a closer beach, which is over there by the bridge. A lot of people take their dogs there. It's a very thin stretch of beach and it's not like a resort style beach at all. It's more of a neighborhood beach. Um, again, people take their dogs there. People windsurf a lot. And if you like to swim like long distance in the ocean, a lot of people do that there as well.
video. I hope that you enjoyed this walk with me around Brickle. If you liked it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I usually do luxury content, so if that's your thing, this is the right channel for you. And if you guys are interested in seeing any more Miami videos, let me know. I love to take walks around Miami, and I'm happy to share. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.